Alright, this is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 2. And in this lesson, we're going to be interpreting fraction as a division problem. Um, you know, the contrast would be, we could say, well, here's 0, here's 1, here's 2, etc., etc. And that a fraction could be thought of as a number that lives somewhere between the whole numbers, like right here, this might represent one and one third, or uh, right here, this might represent, uh, I don't know, five thirds, all right? So, um, or down here, this might represent one half. So one way to think of fraction is think of it as a number that lives somewhere on the number line. Another way, and that's the purpose of this lesson, is to think of fractions as a division problem. So if we think of 5 divided by 3, there's a couple of ways we can do this as a fraction, right? So one way is to take those that 5 right here. Let's do it. We'll do it one way here, and then we'll do it another way here. So one way to do uh, that, think of that 5, or to do this problem, is to draw your 5 whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then cut each one of them into thirds into three pieces. Why am I cutting each one of them into three pieces? Because it says so right here. All right, And then uh, I'm going to create basically five buckets. All right, So one, no, three buckets. I'm sorry, three. The reason I'm doing three is because the number three. All right, So now I can hand them out. Okay, so I can say, all right, this piece goes here, this piece goes here, this piece goes here. All right, so one, two, three. So I can go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I can see that in bag number one, we're going to get five pieces, five thirds. And in bag number two, we're going to get five thirds. And then in bag number three, we're going to get five thirds. All right, so that's one way to hand that out. And by the way, five thirds, that's equal to one and two thirds. All right, so that's one way to think of it. Another way to think of it is to start with that five whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to come down here and here's our three bags, one, two, oops, I'm running out of room, three, and why am I doing three bags? Because the problem says divide by three, so it's like we're going to pretend we have three people and five cookies, and we need to share those five cookies equally with three people. So one way to do it would be to take this whole one right here and put it in here, one whole. Take this whole one and put it right here. And then take this whole one and put it right here. So each bag gets one whole cookie. But now we only have two cookies left and three bags. So that's not enough for each bag to get a full cookie. So now we're going to chop each of those into three pieces. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. So the ones go right here. So he gets, this guy gets one whole plus these two thirds. And then bag number two has the one whole right here plus this third and this third, so he gets one whole plus two little thirds. And then the third bag, same story, so he gets one whole plus two little thirds left over. So you can see that they both get the same, end up with the exact same answer. Uh, one and two thirds here, one and two thirds here, and the it's just a difference in how we think about ha um, how we pat, uh, divide up those five cookies amongst three people or three bags. So here we've got one cookie 
and it says we're supposed to divide it up amongst four people. So now this is a little different from the way Engage New York uh, explains it. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to draw my um, kind of like my four bags. One, two, three, and I need to squeeze in one more four. So there's my four bags. Now, because I only have one cookie and I need to split it up amongst four bags, I can't put a whole cookie in any of these bags. So I'm just going to take that cookie and cut it up, and each bag ends up with one-fourth. One-fourth, 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 one-fourth. And so that answer, one-fourth, one divided by four, equals one-fourth. All right, so let's do that again with three-fifths, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So three-fifths, now think about what three-fifths mean, or three divided by five, I mean. So that means we're going to start with three cookies, one, two, three cookies, and we're going to split that up amongst five people. Now we don't have enough cookies for any one person to get a whole cookie. So immediately we need to just chop these up into five pieces. All right. And then hand them out. And when we do that, we can see that all right, well, we can if we wanted to, we can number them like 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so this first bag gets all the ones. So he gets one, one, and one. So he ends up with three fifths. And then we can see that the twos, one, two, and three, he ends up with three fifths. And then we could see that he ends up with three fifths, three fifths, and three fifths. Now that's one way to do it. And then the last one. 7 divided, oh, I forgot to, to write the fraction. 3 divided by 5, that's 3 fifths, because each person gets 3 fifths of a cookie. All right, now let's go 7 divided by 4. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 whole c cookies, let's call them, and then we have 4 people. All right, now the cool thing is we have enough cookies for each person to get one whole cookie. So there's our one whole cookie. And really, I should just write a one. Now what's remaining is we don't have enough cookies to give each one of these four people a whole cookie because we only have three cookies left and four people. So we're going to cut each one of those into fourths. Now, I don't know why I cut it this way, like window panes, but okay. Anyway, so there they are. So those are fourths. And um, I'm going to give, let's see, one-fourth to this guy, one-fourth to this guy, one-fourth to this guy, and one-fourth to this guy. So each guy now has one whole plus one-fourth. That takes care of this cookie. So we're done with this cookie, this cookie, this cookie, this cookie, and this cookie. Oh, let's use green now. And now we can do the same thing with this cookie. Give each guy another cookie, or another quarter of a cookie. So that's so each guy now has another quarter of a cookie, so that one's gone. And then, oh, let's do this in what color? Oh, purple. Purple's good. Now this guy, we can hand out one quarter of a cookie to each person. And that's all gone. So how much does each person get? Each person ends up with, well, first off, the fraction is seven-fourths. And each person ends up with one whole and three-fourths of a cookie. So real quick, we're going to um, 
dispense with the manipulatives and the realia. And now we're just going to kind of switch over to kind of like the algorithm. So it says fill in the blanks. So 2 divided by 7 is 2 sevenths. 39 divided by 5 is 39 fifths. Uh, down here, 9 fifths is 9 divided by 5. And then 19 twenty-eighths is 19 divided by 28. And that is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 2, where we are interpreting fractions as division.